Welcome everyone, you're on the new iPadOS 16 and it's not for you. Here is how you downgrade back to iPadOS 15. So first of all, if I show you, I am on iPadOS 16 and in order to downgrade, you will need access to either a Windows or Mac computer. I'm going to move to my computer and if you don't have one, uh, the downgrade option is not available. Head over to the iPad downloads link, which will be in the description. The website may change when you're watching the video. What you're going to do is you're just going to find the uh, iPad OS download. So for me, I'm going to click on iPad, then select your device model. So if you see Selium Wi-Fi, it doesn't matter. The firmware file is the same. Uh, so I'll choose this one here. And you see sign IPSWs. You just want to download the uh, firmware file, which has the tick. So just click on that firmware file and then click on download. So in the future, the, you know, the firmware version may be slightly different. Uh, to you compared to what I'm downloading. However, it doesn't matter as this firmware file uh, is going to be signed and it's going to allow you to downgrade no matter the firmware number. I've already downloaded this, so I'm going to cancel the download. Next, you need to download iTunes. This is only for Windows users. On Mac, iTunes is built into Finder. So by default, you'll see, get it from Microsoft if you're on Windows. You can use the Microsoft Store, but I recommend instead you see you're looking for other versions, click on Windows, and then click on iTunes, download 64-bit. So set up iTunes, and once you've done that, we're going to open up Finder on Mac, iTunes on Windows, and we just want to connect our iPad to the computer. Once your device is connected, just go to the home screen of your iPad. You may be asked to trust the connection. If you are, tap on Trust. And so from here, we're just going to click into our iPad. We'll just wait for this to load. And for some reason, it's not loading. So in this case, I'm going to unplug the iPad reconnect to the computer see if that works if we're still having issues i'm just going to restart the mac and yeah i'm going to restart my mac right now there we go i can now see my ipad right here now it will do this backup but the backup never saves onto your device so i don't know why it does it because it's literally a waste of time so you just want to cancel that backup and then restart a new one so you should see here backup now so we're just going to click on backup now make sure you don't encrypt the uh, backup uh, because if you do, then you won't be able to modify it and you will need to do that later. So if you're watching this video uh, and you see me just, you know, downgrade the firmware. No, that's not when the tutorial ends. The tutorial ends once you modify the backup after the downgrade. So just keep that in mind. So what we're going to do next is we need to do the restore. So don't stop watching after this part because, again, there's more to do tutorial. And so we need to do a special uh, key combination. So on Windows, what you're going to do is you're going to hold down left shift key. And then we're holding down left shift key, left click restore ipad okay so left click restore ipad on mac you're going to hold down the option key and then you're also going to left click restore ipad and then this menu should show up from here you just want to find that firmware file that you downloaded earlier so mine's right here click on open and then your mac wouldn't say that your device will be erased so uh, if you are asked to turn off find my i'm going to show you how to do that right now turning off find my is as simple as opening up settings then you should see your name right here tap on your name then there'll be an option for Find My. Tap on Find My and then turn off Find My on the iPad itself. So let's click on Restore. And so just keep your device plugged in. Allow uh, iTunes or Finder to factory reset your iPad. Okay, the factory reset has completed. So now we need to restore the backup. I don't currently see my device as there's some extra stuff going on on the device itself. However, all the computer stuff is currently done. So what we need to do now is we need to locate the backup folder. So I'm on the Mac, so I can't show every operating system, but Apple's website does show all of the instructions for all of the operating systems. So I have this link in the description if you do need to access it, but I'll give you the general gist. So if you're on Mac, what you're going to do is we need this directory. So we'll just drag all of this, including that little uh, squiggly line. We'll right click, copy, then open up Finder, and you're going to do the following key combination. So hold down Command. We're holding down command, hold down shift, and we're holding down both command and shift. Just click on G, and then release both command and shift. Then paste this directory, click on enter, and you'll be brought to the backup folder. Now on Windows, what it wants you to do is, if I just scroll down here, you're going to see it wants you to find app data or user profile. So in order to do that, don't follow these instructions. Instead, hold down Windows key, we're holding down Windows key, click on R, and then type in app data or user profile, then follow these instructions. All right, so once we're in the backup folder, we're gonna uh, go into this smaller view so we can see the date modified. So we're just gonna find the most recent backup. We do this by clicking on date modified. You see today, 
at and then the time 301 that's the most recent so that's the backup we're going to use so we're going to double click into this one and we're going to scroll all the way down so you see here info.plist this is what we need we're going to right click open with and we just want to find the text editor so i believe on the windows the app is called notes but on mac it's called text edit and the ones we're here if you're on windows you probably won't see uh the view like this it'll look like gibberish but what you're going to do regardless is you're going to find edit you're going to find find and then you're going to click on find so you're just going to search up the old firmware that your ipad was running so if your ipad was running ipad or 16 you're going to search up for 16. if your ipad was running ipad or 15 you search up 15 14 17 etc just search for 16 don't do the point one point whatever just search for 16 and you'll see product version or you just see here 16.0 or 17.0 so you're just going to change this to the previous firmware so i'm going to do 15.0 i'm going to search again and it seems like that was the only result because you see this stuff here is like other information okay but if i go back to 15 here you can see product version and the string 15.0 so this is the one we need to change here and we have changed it just make sure that you save the file if you haven't already now once you've done that make sure your device is connected to the computer so reconnect your ipad okay it may uh, require activation uh, and device unplug for some reason it seems like my cable is causing that issue let's just see if it's going to activate okay okay the activation worked and now you're going to see a restore from this backup and then just select your device so it will say when uh, it was last backed up okay and it'll also give you the time so this is the most recent backup that's the one we need we'll click on continue and just like that the backup will restore so once this is done all of your data which would uh which would have been lost from the factory reset will now be restored back onto your ipad that's why i said you need to keep on watching so once you've done this uh, you're good to go now on the device you set it up how you would like to and then go back to the home screen and now when you're on the home screen all of the data you had will be restored and if i just go to the about page you can see i'm on the previous ipad os firmware and this is not a beta thanks for watching see you guys later Bye bye